welcome to the first demonstration of over voltage under voltage and uh, heavy load detection and isolating to the power supply to the load by using the electromagnetic relay and also sending sms alerts to the predefined store number authorities with the help of this gsm modem and the so called status continuously displayed on this lcd screen so here uh, heavy load will be identified with the help of this current transformer so when we connect the load here so the current transformer will measure the the present load uh, current and that will be converted into the voltage so here we are using current transformer nothing but it's a step up transformer so the inputs will be step up to the higher voltage and that is going to be the ac voltage so in order to measure that so we need to convert that ac to dc with the help of this tb107 ic so the, which is ic version of full wave bridge rectifier so after that we will get the pulsating dc and with the help of this capacitor we will get the pure dc voltage so that will be measured by our uh, arduino uno board at the a0 pin so here we are using resistors the purpose of this resistor is potential divider here we will get maximum 230 volts ac so we are going to step down that means we are going to use the like uh, convert that voltage to the 10 volts with the help of this potential divider circuits and after that to make it is less than 5 volts we are making use of 10 is to 1 potential divider circuit at the DC end this one the AC potential divider circuit this one is a DC potential divider circuit so the output is given to the A0 pin and the next we are going to uh, provide the variable voltage with the help of this variable resistor potentiometer to change the voltage as we are providing to the devils AC input which is the uh, standard voltage so in order to make the higher and lower voltage we are making use of this potentiometer based on this voltage levels low or high based on this current input so we said the current is going to be 85 milliamps only so when we connect the load below 60 watts it's normal load when we place the 100 watts load it's going to the abnormal load then automatically that will be identified by our uh, Arduino Uno board and it will isolate the power supply to this load by using this electromagnetic relay so coming to the electromagnetic relay there we can see LED indication which will show the status of this relay and the transistor so means microcontrollers Arduino Uno will trigger the transistor to on this relay and the relay will on the power supply to this load so here the switching is like Arduino to transistor transistor to the relay relay to the load so the so called status will be displayed on the LCD screen which is connected at pin number 2 to pin number 7 and the SMS will be done with the help of this GSM modem which is H, 8 and 9 pin and the 10th pin is connected to this electromagnetic relay so the whole system get the power supply from this regulated power supply board so when we switch on the kit you are not supposed to touch any component on this regular power supply board as it will take the 230 volts AC input and output is 5 volts output so it has a stages like 4 stages one is a step down 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and then rectification so to convert the 12 volts AC to 12 volts pulsating DC and next filtration with the help of this capacitors we are going to convert the pulsating DC to pure DC voltage that is 12 volts and we to get the 5 volts output we are going to making use of 7805 regulator on this regulator power supply board which will take 12 volts DC input and provide as a 5 volts DC output so that is the main power source input to our Arduino you know, LCD GSM modem and the relay also and potentiometer so before switch on the kit we need to insert a valid sim card other than the geo better to use airtel to get the faster response so there is a curve uh, symbol is there so press and back open that and insert the sim card as a notch presents better to use micro sim card not the nano if you have the nano sim card better to purchase the micro adapter and push and lock push and back open push and lock forward done so after inserting the sim card hold this reset switch because we should hold the Arduino you know till the GSM modem get the signal so around it will take 10 to 12 seconds to get the signal for the confirmation you can make a call to the sim card which is inserted in this one so we can call to the sim card right so we are getting the ring now you can disconnect the call and now you can release the reset switch so then welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen now the relay got switched on 
so as we set the voltage for the normal so abnormal is going to be 205 below low voltage 245 above high voltage so let us go with the normal load let us place 40 watts right and now let me increase the voltage so it is 245 above and make it normal otherwise keep on sending the messages so after send the sms the system will isolate the power supply to the so you got the message so every message will show the what is the like concern about the abnormality as well as it will show the parameters readings also high voltage and what is the voltage is 249 volts and the current is 60 milliamps so till you reset this you know board so keep till that time the relay will off state or relay will be in the off state only and now make it is low voltage So we got the message alert, low voltage now. And now, press the high load over here. And again, reset. So as we discussed, when it crosses the 85 milliamps, then the system will isolate the power supply to the load and high current message will be sent to the authority registered phone number right so we got the message high current so in this manner we are going to get the message alerts along with circuit breaker operation for low voltage, high voltage, high current.